the east coast low, it uh, washed uh, a lot of the beach away with a southerly uh, sweep. It was pretty intense, it uh, washed 20 metres of foreshore away. What we found when we came in was that, yes, there was one large storm event that had taken away a lot of the beach, but there was a generation of these types of storms and there'd been a lot of band-aid works, a lot of patch-up jobs, but nothing that had really tackled it head on. The reason that Saucon was engaged is because I think the history that Saucon has with council, they've got, I think, over a decade's worth of, of work that they've completed to a high standard in a very niche market. Newcastle City Council engaged the coastal engineer to draw up the designs for the seawall. There was uh, stringent specifications that Soilcon had to meet. We identified that meeting one of the criteria was going to be extremely challenging and that was the, the rock criteria. There wasn't any rock in the Hunter region that would meet the criteria in the design. That chewed into the time frames to construct considerably but we got there in the end by putting a lot of emphasis and a lot of effort into undertaking works in the quarries where we ended up selecting the rock from. The board itself was maybe the design, I wouldn't say overly technical. Essentially uh, a seawall uh, that ran for about 165 metres. Um, the southern extent was very close to Lexi's Cafe and the northern extent was just to the north of the Surf Life Saving Club. When we got the bill of quantities from the engineers that designed the seawall, they predicted that um, it would use approximately 7,300 tonne of rock, but on the completion of the build, that, that number actually went over 9,000 tonne. The yeah, project on a whole was a challenge, not in the what was being constructed, the design was pretty standard. It was just more the getting the right materials, etc., and dealing with the high tides limited our, our build space and also we had water on high tides going into the build location. The way Silcon got it done within that time frame really came down in my opinion to two very important factors. A was having the right people on the ground and that was both the Silcon staff and the subcontractors we used. Secondly communication was absolutely vital. Any problems we had now, any questions we had, there's only a matter of going to their side office, so I had the phone number. And they couldn't do enough really for the club. They'd make sure everything was safe. All the information that we've received is everybody involved, both the client and, and the general public, have been really happy with the outcome. And the feedback we're getting is finally the site's safe. It looks great. They're not looking at vertical eroding walls anymore. It's brought the community together at that point in Stockton and you can see that they've taken it on board and it's provided a lot of amenity as well. It's not just the actual works that stabilise a, a forge or a, or a front of a beach, it's bringing them all together, that's good. Fun.